Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. I had the weirdest feeling today that I really needed to say this. Someone really needed to hear it. So if you're here, it's for a reason. You clicked on this video, it showed up on your feed for a reason and I am so happy you're here. You are beautiful, you are loved, you have a purpose. So let's get into it and rewire that beautiful mind of yours. For a little bit of a background, I have struggled with anxiety and depression for Years on end, I have been through eating disorders, toxic and abusive relationships, and I have been at points in my life where I felt utterly hopeless, as many people do. And we try to fix it, we go to therapy, we try to do adrenaline junkie things, take medication, go on vacation, and we might feel okay for a little bit, but we always revert back. And it's because when we're so used to being negative, when we're always used to reacting a type of way, thinking a certain type of way, we have strong neurological connections. It is automatic. That is what our body does. It is so easy to lay in bed all day and be sad and regret things and be angry at things, make excuses and wither away. It's hard to be happy. Happiness is a choice and it's gonna take work. If you really wanna rewire your mind, see life as a beautiful thing, romanticize it, be grateful for it, it's gonna take work. For example, one morning you can't find your keys, you can't find them anywhere, you're going to be late to work, you're stressing out. Typically we're thinking, oh my god, why does nothing work out for me? Why does everything go wrong? Why am I so unlucky? Those pathways are so strong, our brain knows exactly where to go. But by rewiring our minds, we can see things differently. Oh, maybe I couldn't find my keys for those extra couple minutes and it saved me from a crash. Maybe it saved me from bumping into someone I did not want to see or someone that could have ruined my day. Those positive thoughts strengthen over time. It's literally a muscle you are working out. Every time you choose a positive and happy thought over a negative one, you are strengthening that bridge. And the more you do it, your mind will start automatically going down this path. You will see things completely different, feel things, react to things completely different. All it takes is some work and dedication you work out that muscle and you will be golden. You can do it. You can start right now. The only thing, the only thing holding you back is yourself. You have a purpose. You have a reason for being here. Think about how many people did not wake up today, but you did. You need to accept that and acknowledge it and be so grateful and feel so blessed for that because you woke up for a reason. You have purpose. And I know I keep repeating myself, but I have to drill that into your head. Every day that you spend complaining all day, making excuses, avoiding opportunities for growth or things that make you feel uncomfortable, you are wasting the time you're given, the potential you have, the opportunities that are at your feet. So let's fix that. Let's get you to a point where you are grateful every day. You romanticize your life. You see the beauty and power in life. There is nothing stopping you now. So I'm going to share some perspectives and thoughts and also activities that you can start to embody that will open your mind to the beauty of life, the beauty of yourself and the purpose behind everything. I want to start with perspectives because your perception shapes everything. It impacts your entire life, every memory, every interaction, every emotion is controlled by your perception of life. If you and I were to both look at the same sky, let's say it's cloudy out and kind of overcast, you may think, oh, it's so gloomy today, it's kind of depressing, I just want to stay in bed all day. But I might think, I live in Texas, it's always so hot, it's finally cold out, I love the clouds, I'm going to walk around in my sweater, get hot coffee, enjoy the gloomy day. It's totally different based off your perception. So the first perception you really need to adapt to and embody is that every single thing in life is a lesson, good or bad, that is going to help you grow in some way. So you need to stop viewing failures and mistakes as failures. They are not. They are lessons. They have purpose. They are pushing you to become the best version of yourself and you would not be given challenges and obstacles unless you could face them. You are strong and it's happening for a reason. The only true failure in life is not trying. You will miss every single shot that you do not take. 
every single shot. It is okay to mess up. It is good to mess up. It is good to make mistakes. It is bettering you in every way possible and you need to reframe your mind around failures. I have suffered through horrible relationships, horrible friendships, horrible mistakes that I have made, but I've learned not to regret it, not to dwell on it. It happened, it's in the past. Now, what can I take from it and learn from? What can I take that will benefit me? Maybe you and the love of your life broke up. It wasn't meant to be. Maybe down the road, he wouldn't have been a good father or she wouldn't have been a good mother. Maybe they would have ended up cheating on you or your lives would have ended up not aligning in the future. It happened for a reason and you're saving a lot of hurt now by going through it instead of the future. Maybe you didn't get your dream job. Maybe they didn't accept your application or wanna hire you after the interview. That's okay. Maybe that actually wasn't your dream job. Maybe it wasn't gonna be what it was supposed to be. Maybe now you're on a path that will really take you to that dream job. Lost a friendship, had a friendship breakup. Maybe that happened for a reason too. Maybe they were bringing you down in ways that you did not even realize. And now you can be free to grow and find the right friendship. Everything has a purpose and a reason and a lesson. You just have to open your mind up to it and it will completely change your life. This thought process has also helped me with my future worries. Things I'm really nervous about, things I'm dreading like presentations or interviews. I would be so, so nervous. I would be assuming the worst, replaying all these mistakes I could make over and over in my head. But the second I would take a step back and think, you know what? Regardless of what happens, if I mess up or I do amazing, I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm getting better at things I don't like doing. If it goes bad, oops, at least now I know. Next time I'll be even more prepared. I'm gonna do even better because I just got the practice now. Next up is a question I ask myself a lot that has really, really helped me reshape my mind, let go of the fears, of the stress, the doubts, the what ifs that we all struggle with daily. So think of something you're struggling with, big or small, anything. Think of one thing you're struggling with. Now ask yourself, can you control it? If you can, why are you worried? You can control it, you can fix it, you can change it. But if you can't, why are you worried? You can't control it. There's nothing you can do. There's no reason to waste your time and energy on something you can't control. So you let it go. You let it happen. You let it take the path it was meant to take and you worry about controlling what you can. I promise this will help you so much. Especially as women, there are so many things we worry about and stress over and try to control. And sometimes we can't. And there's no reason to worry about it anymore. You just have to let it go. The more you try to control something, whether it's your diet, your boyfriend, your acne, your body, the less control you will have over it and the more control it will have over you. For example, my acne, I struggled with it for a very, very, very long time and it completely consumed me. I was obsessed with it. I would wake up in the morning, pick up my skin, do all these products, do research all day, whatever. You guys know how it is. I was obsessed with it and I tried so hard to control it and to fix it and I couldn't. My boyfriend finally one day was like, Emily, you need to stop controlling it. You need to stop thinking about it and just let it be. How can I do that? It's the first thought in the morning to my last thought at night. Every time I look in the mirror, I see it and I hate it and I want to fix it. No, drop it. Drop it, Emily. You can't control it. Just drop it. And for a couple of weeks, every time I saw myself in the mirror, no, we're not going to worry about it. We're not going to worry about it. I continued my skincare, just stopped worrying about it, stopped thinking about it. And guess what? My skin is the clearest it's been in years. In years. I'm still doing the exact same things I was doing a month ago, but instead of constantly worrying about it and being consumed with it and trying to control it, I just let go. And the freedom, the energy, my emotions is healing my skin because of it. And something that helped me really let go of constantly worrying about things and consuming myself with things that I can't control. I learned this during a meditation, I think it was with Joe Dispenza. And visualize your thoughts as clouds. You have so many thoughts and clouds and you are an observer of your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. 
You pick and choose which thoughts to consume and let become you and welcome into your body, into your energy. So maybe meditate or just sit down and close your eyes. Every thought you have, every voice you're hearing, bad, good, whatever it is, think of them as clouds. If I see a thought, Emily, your acne looks so bad. I'm just gonna let that cloud float away. I'll worry about it later. I don't need to worry about it right now. Just float away. You know what? My hair looks good today. Let's pull that one in. Oh, but my mascara looks bad. Oh, I have a presentation today. What if I do that? No. Nope. Let it go. Let it go. Let it drift away. And you can feel the thoughts drifting away. Now let's get into some activities that you can really start practicing to embody that open mind, to romanticize your life, to really turn your life around. The biggest thing, the biggest, most impactful thing I ever did that ever helped me even start this journey was practicing gratitude. And I know everyone says this and it probably gets annoying hearing it all the time, but it's because it is so true. If you really practice it, if you really embody it, it will change your life. And I will back this until the day I die because it saved my life and my mind. So you need to practice it constantly. You need to be so conscious of it and work that muscle out until it becomes habit, until it becomes routine. It will open your mind to so many amazing things. It will reframe your perception. It'll open your energy to opportunities, to amazing people, to amazing experiences. It is so worth it. At the beginning, I highly recommend writing down everything in your notes. If you can't, say it out loud, but write it in your notes, whether it's a journal in the morning or your notes app on your phone throughout the entire day. I promise this helps so much. And it's so simple too. I know when we're in depressive states and these really negative, heavy mindsets, it's hard to find things to be grateful for. So when you wake up, open your journal or your notes app, write down, I'm grateful that I woke up today. I'm grateful I have a roof over my head. I'm grateful that I have a bed to sleep in. Maybe your pillows are really comfy. Maybe your comforter or your sheets kept you super cold all night. Get in the shower. I'm so grateful I have warm, clean water. Do you know how many people do not have access to showers, to hot water? But you do. Maybe you're grateful for your soaps. Maybe they smell especially good today. You can romanticize your shower. You can fall in love with showering just by changing your mindset. It's not something you have to do anymore. It's a treat. It feels amazing. It's a little sauna, a little karaoke session. Reframe your mind. Even if your job sucks, you're grateful for your job. You're grateful you have the ability to work, that you have a job, that they trust in you to do the work, that you're making money. You can change anything into something to be grateful for, I promise you. The more you practice this, the more you strengthen this muscle, it will become habit. It will become automatic that you are just grateful for things. You are happy to be experiencing them and you appreciate what you have. I promise it is so, so, so worth the effort in the beginning. It will pay off. Speaking of energy, I am a firm believer in energy. And I won't get into all the science and all the proof of it because there's a lot. But we all operate at certain frequencies. When we are happy, when we express gratitude, when we are noticing and looking for opportunities, we are operating at high frequencies and you are gonna attract opportunities and people that operate at the same place. You guys will bring each other up. You guys will bounce off each other. And the same goes for the other side. When you are really negative, when you're in a bad place in life and mentally, you are gonna attract people who operate at lower frequencies. You guys match each other. And as you're trying to get better and better, they might be holding you down. Think about it. How many times have you met someone and you're like, we just click. We just click. You guys are in a harmony. Your frequencies work well together. How many times have you met someone and you're like, I don't like them. I don't know why. It's just not working. It's the same thing. I plan to make a video all about energy, how to increase your frequency and purify and cleanse your energy. And I'm happy to do it. But the main reason I'm bringing this point up in this video is because there are people in your life who you're going to have to let go if you want to get to a better place. There is a very high chance that there's at least one person in your life who is not helping you. If anything, they were slowing your growth down. They were holding you back. And you have to know it's okay to let go. When I started to really work on my mind and healing myself and my energy, I started realizing that I had a lot of friends who were not serving me. 
They were not bettering me. If anything, they were bringing me down. They did not celebrate my wins with me. They were jealous. They would rub their wins in my face, not for me to celebrate with them, but to show off, to be better than me. And as my energy was getting better, my frequencies higher, my energy cleaner, theirs were not. And I could notice the difference. And the biggest thing is they didn't want to fix it. They didn't care to. They were stuck in their ways. There was nothing I could do to help. And at that point, it was best to let go. And since letting go of those people, although it was so hard at the time, my energy has been able to flourish. I've met and made so many friends that are still in my life and very dear to my heart who have amazing energy. They are ambitious. They are positive. They chase opportunity and seek opportunity. And I've been able to grow my energy off theirs and they're able to grow their energy off mine. It is an amazing positive reinforcement. They celebrate my wins. They are happy for me. They're sad with me and vice versa. Those are the friends you need. When you are surrounded with bad energy, you will not be able to be your best self and feel your best self. We are the only people experiencing our life. You are the only person who will ever know what it feels like to wake up every day, every emotion you go through, every obstacle you face, every person you interact with, activity you do. You are the only person who goes through that. So it's okay to be selfish. This is your life and you are the only one living it. You have to learn to let go of what is not serving you, whether it's a boyfriend, a best friend, an acquaintance, your activities, whether you love to party all the time and you know it's not good for you. You need to let go of these things and this will better you so much. Another habit that will really help you elevate your life and your energy is going outside. It awakens your mind, your energy, your creative spirit, your passion. You are in an open world. You are free to dream, to feel, to do whatever you want. It is so good for you. Please prioritize going outside every single day, even if it's 20 minutes. Journal outside, meditate outside, think about gratitude or just listen to music. Whatever you want to do, but go outside. And lastly, move your body. You are full of energy. You are full of stagnant energy that needs to be released. And I'm going to stop saying energy after this. But work out, move your body, whether it's yoga, whether it's a walk, whether it's a sprint, move your body and you will automatically feel so good. You are using your body in a beautiful way. And when you feel good, you can think good. You can practice these things that will really help you rewire your mind and change your life. Sitting down all day, laying down all day, you are not getting any true dopamine or endorphins, which is the strongest antidepressant you could ever get. Your body literally creates the best medication for sadness by exercising. Sure, you're getting some fake, cheap, fast food dopamine from scrolling through TikTok or Instagram, but you need real dopamine, real endorphins, and working out is the easiest way to achieve it. No matter how bad of a headspace you're in, if you work out, if you go for a walk, you are going to feel better. And that will open your mind to where you can rewire it. You can practice these things and really embody them and see and feel a difference. I think I got most of what I really wanted to say off my chest. I just really felt like someone needed to hear this. And if you watched to the end of this video, you probably did need to hear it. I hope I could help in some way. You are beautiful. You are loved. You have a purpose and you're going to get there. You're going to rewire your mind. You're going to feel amazing. Wake up happy every day and experience life as it was meant to be for you. Everything in life is about your mind. If you can get this in check, if you can really work with it and strengthen it, you will be unstoppable. I promise you. If you have any advice of your own that has really helped you, please comment it below and you can really help someone else as well. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really hope this helped. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want more. I hope I was able to give you a ton of tools to help you really romanticize life and find the beauty and purpose in everything. I love you guys. Bye.